In today's video, we unbox Ragba by Latafa. This is a gourmand Middle Eastern scent. Uh, very hyped as well. I'll give you guys my first impression along with this unboxing and let you guys know what I think of this fragrance. Stay tuned. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is the 411 and my name is Dwayne. If it's the first time here, make sure you check out the catalog. If there's anything you like, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button as well. And for all my subscribers, thank you for subscribing. Really do appreciate your guys' support, all right? So guys, in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at uh, Rotba by Latafa, a Middle Eastern scent. It is gourmand. It's been out for some time. It was hyped like back in 2015. I've been eyeing this for a very long time. I actually got this in a haul, um, probably about two or three months ago. What I'm doing with my hauls right now is when I get my hauls in, I don't open everything at once because as you guys know, things are expensive, um, cost of living has gone up. So I have to kind of spread out my purchases. So when I do purchase five or six colognes at once, I like to make sure I just take my time opening them up and discover them one by one and giving them the attention uh, that they definitely deserve. All right, so I'm gonna be pro prolonging my hauls uh, and then open in my packages uh, maybe week after week, um, just so at least that way I don't run myself into the ground when it comes to purchasing a ton of fragrances. Hopefully you guys have your own strategy on you know getting your scents, but also making sure that your finances are in place, all right? Um, but yeah guys, before I get into this, hope you guys are staying safe, staying well, hope you guys are smelling good. But more importantly, hope your little ones are staying good and staying well also. Um, I know right now there's something going around in the schools here in Ontario. A lot of the kids are sick um, to the point where over-the-counter medication or just fever and pain medication for children is really hard to come by right now. Uh, my little ones are sick. All three minions of mine are sick at the moment. I do call them minions. They do give a bit of trouble. So all my minions are sick right now, um, but you know, they're slowly getting better. Um, for me, I was, I did about three kilometers, guys, in the house just up and down the stairs, make sure everybody's okay, making sure they're, you know, um, staying hydrated, making sure that they have their medication. Uh, my son, you know, he had a fever, so again, every four hours he had to get the Advil. But I'm trying to keep him occupied, entertained, you know, making sure that he's enjoying himself and, you know, not just feeling down. So we're getting into flu season, so, you know, unfortunately, we're gonna get sick. But try to build up your immune system, make sure you guys are exercising, working out. Uh, I know I'm going back to the gym right now. I'm trying to get myself back in peak, you know, um, shape. Uh, and that's going to help me, of course, along with proper eating, to try to stay healthy longer. So hopefully you guys are doing that as well. So aside from smelling good, hopefully you guys are taking care of your well-being and exercising, uh, you know, taking your medication, your vitamins, um, staying positive mentally, you know, all that stuff does help when it comes to your overall health, okay? Uh, sorry to blab about that, guys, but let's get back into this. Again, we're gonna do an unboxing by Latafa. This says Ragba, the original. So guys, keep in mind, there is a Ragba Wood Intense. Now, guys, I was on the fence for a very long time between Ragba Wood Intense and Ragba. Um, but after a bit of, um, let's say, homework and research, I decided to get the Ragba original. Uh, I will be getting Ragba Wood Intense in the future because, again, what I'm hearing about these scents, I love what I hear. As far as gourmand, smoky, Middle Eastern, I think that's the vibe that I'm looking for. And I feel that both of those can satisfy that craving. So I will be getting Ragba Wood Intense. Right now, we do an unboxing of Ragba, okay? Let's go ahead and get that open right now. All right, guys, there we have it. Ragba by Latafa. Middle Eastern, sweet, gourmand, smoky, incense -y. The box is very Middle Eastern, I, I will say. The box is very, I think, traditional, okay? It's a very good box. Uh, even have some writing there, Arabic writing. Um, some details at the bottom. We've got Latafa on top and it does tell you that it comes with a deodorizer as well so i'm curious to check that out guys by the way this retails for a very good price i believe this was about 25 dollars canadian um that's that's a really good price for something like this uh, from all the reviews i read from my homework this is a very long lasting scent okay so this is what inside the box looks like let's see if i can do this properly
All right, so that's what inside the box looks like. Uh, let's start with the, we'll take a look at the deodorizer. Machine Crystal Perfume Spray. Okay, so we'll check this out afterwards. Let's take a look at the bottle. All right, guys, there's the bottle of Ragba. Look at that juice, guys. I'm really liking it so far. You got the top on the bottom. Now this bottle is very small, but this is 100 milliliters. Uh, 100 milliliters in a size like this is hard to believe, but um, yeah, that's what it is. Now guys, I've been waiting to open this for a very long time. Uh, again, I've had it for about a couple of months now, and I've been thinking about it on and off for some time, and I'm glad I'm gonna be able to get this on skin. Again, a lot of research, a lot of homework. Uh, this is one I've been anticipating. I've been letting my followers on Instagram know that I've been anticipating opening this one. So guys, if you don't know, I do have an Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. It's the 411 on Instagram. I'll post the information in the description below. Um, I post a lot of uh, send of the day and things like that on there. So again, uh, check me out on Instagram. All right, so guys, here we go. Uh, the cap itself is very light. It's a light plastic, kind of cheap, but not a big deal. Atomizer, can't smell anything yet. It's got a few sprays. Pretty okay atomizer. Okay. I do like what I smell in the air. It does smell similar to something I already have, but again, we'll see how this performs on skin. Very good atomizer, actually. This is blasting out juice like crazy. All right, here we go, guys. Ragba. First impressions. Again, for a guy that's been waiting for this for a very long time, again, this is unisex. I've watched videos of men and women doing their reviews, and they all have great things to say about this. Let's take a look. Okay, so guys, this is very Middle Eastern, okay? Um, you get a very Middle Eastern blast of, I believe it's oud that you're smelling. It's like a synthetic type of sweetness mixed with oud, okay? Initially, what I got off the atomizer was this was smelling like uh, Amir Al Oud Intense Oud, but so far, I'm preferring Amir Al Oud over this one. So what I'm getting is um, oud, sweetness, uh, smokiness. It's kind of sweet but dark at the same time. It's kind of hard to imagine, but that's actually what I'm smelling. Okay, so off initial impression, um, I'm not blown away. Uh, from all the anticipation I've built up, it's actually underperforming from what I originally expected. They're supposed to have notes of like sugar, you're supposed to have incense, um, vanilla I believe, you're supposed to have some gourmand type of facets and it's given more of a... It's given more of like a woody, semi-gourmand, smoky, incense, oody type of vibe. Again, very Middle Eastern. Um, I did read, I did watch a few reviews that mentioned this is a very Middle Eastern uh, punchy oud, but also I've seen reviews that mention that this is a sweet gourmand scent. So this is my, my impression right now is more of a punchy Middle Eastern slightly gourmand scent with smoky woody facets on there, okay? We'll see how this dry gets down. Again, it's only my first impression. I may have to give it some more wears. Uh, this week I'm gonna be wearing this pretty much almost every day to get a really good vibe. So I figured I'll spray this on tonight, see if it lasts me over to the morning. That way I can kind of gauge the longevity of the scent. Okay, so it feels good a little bit sweeter at this moment. Um, it's a little bit sweeter, but again, if you're into oud, um, Incense, smokiness, woody scents, I think this will be up your alley. But again, you have to be a fan of oud. If you're not a fan of oud, this one's gonna turn you off, all right? So, 
As far as first impressions, I'm gonna give this a, let's see. I'm gonna be a little bit hard on it because again, I've been very amped about smelling this and I had all these thoughts in my mind of what this was gonna smell like and it's not really what I had in mind. So again, this first initial rating is gonna be slightly skewed, slightly biased, okay? I'm gonna give this about a six out of 10. A six out of 10 for Ragba by Latafa. We'll see in the next couple of days if this does improve, if I, you know, get more used to it, if the bottle matures, if the juice macerates a bit more. Um, follow me on Instagram, guys. I'll be posting more videos and clips about Rogba on my Instagram, so make sure you follow me there. But in the meantime, a very quick video, quick unboxing of Rogba. Uh, in about a week or two, I'll be posting a full impression of this video, give you guys longevity, breakdown, all that good stuff. As you guys know, if my six rating actually changes over the next couple of weeks, all right? Again, hope you guys are staying blessed. Hope you guys are staying well. Hope you guys are in good health. Hope your kids are in good health but also hope you guys are smelling good, all right? Thank you for watching. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. I'll see you guys in the next one, okay? Peace.